Hey everybody, um, welcome back. Thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, go ahead and do it. Uh, I don't have any subscribers yet, so you would be the first. And who doesn't want to be in first? That'd be amazing. Um, today I'm going to share a little bit about um, my relationship with the cable guy. We uh, are celebrating six years of marriage today on May 17th. Um, you won't be seeing this video on May 17th. Um, but uh, six years ago today, he and I said I do um, at my parents' church in California. And um, we had been dating, we've been, to, we officially, we've been off and on together for 13 years. Um, we were high school sweethearts. We started dating May 10th, 2002. Um, and then, um, dated all of our senior year, kind of broke up, saw each other off and on, kept in touch, um, but got back together in 2008-ish, I think 2008, and yeah, in May 17th, 2009, we became man and wife. <laughs> Um, we met because a good friend of ours who, uh, was my ride, um, he was my ride junior year. And most of, yeah, most of my senior year. I think I started driving my car, my own car, kind of towards the end of my senior year, off and on. I was sharing a, a car with my parents. Um, we had to, but... I, I don't even remember, that's how long ago it was. But anyway, so the guy who was giving me a ride, definitely my junior year, worked at McDonald's with the cable guy, and uh, knew that I wanted to go to my junior formal and didn't have a date. So he's like, hey, I have a friend, why didn't you ask him? Um, so I did, and he took me, and he was very, very sweet. Um, especially because I said to him, excuse me, as we were walking to the stairs to the backyard of our friend's house, I said, if I fall down these stairs, just leave me there. Give me a second and I'll get up. Sure enough, I slipped and fell down the stair. <laughs> and he just leaned over and said, are you okay? I said, yes. He said, okay, I'll give you a second. And then he helped me up and we were on our way. And that kind of solidified in my mind. Yep, he's the one for me. Um, we did go our separate ways for a little while and kind of did our own thing. I did the college thing and he did his college thing and his life thing. Um, but it was obviously meant to be. Um, and I'm really glad that it was. Uh, we have moved apartments, we've moved states, we've moved homes, we've moved, um, you know, he moved across country to be with me. He moved from Michigan to California. Um, we've adopted two dogs. We um, have gone through five different cars. Well, we're on our fourth and fifth car, but we've gone through, we've had five vehicles. Um, and now we have a baby together. So um, we're pretty, pretty uh, invested in this relationship with one another. Um, we have our moments. Um, I tend to be a little lazy about certain things around the house, um, which is why he is the main bill payer and, well, he's the main bill payer. I'm the main cleaner of the home, um, but even, you should see my pile of laundry compared to his pile of laundry. I'm like, mm, I have enough clothes. I'll just keep go. I'll just keep wearing clothes until I run out. Um, and then when I need underwear, then I'll do laundry. Um, he religiously does his every week. It's, he's kind of girl like that. Um, you should also see his closet. It's like, uh, anyway, anyway. And he has more shoes than I do. Just, just saying, just saying. Anyway. Um, however. I am the one who remembers the important things like we need milk and uh, Monkey has a doctor's appointment and he, Cable Guy, has a dentist's appointment 
and I'm the one who keeps us going on a daily basis, um, who feeds us, um, so we're not eating just Doritos. There it is. We knew what was going to happen. Um, I'm actually way more organized at work. Like, I do the bookkeeping, I keep everybody in line, I do all the scheduling. I think because I work so hard at that at work, when I'm at home, I'm just like, meh, meh, I can wait, mm hmm sure, yeah, whatever. And I'm much more relaxed with things at home. Um, but we're a good team. We complement each other well. And I can't imagine um, going through life um, with anybody else or raising my son with anyone else. Um, he's an amazing dad. Monkey is extremely attached to him. Um, he asks for dad dad all the time. Dad dad. Dad dad. We'll be going somewhere. Bye dad dad. And we'll be leaving the store. Bye dad dad. Dad dad's not there. What? I don't know son. Okay. Bye dad dad. So he's an amazing dad. Um, he's an amazing husband. He's an amazing person. Um, I've watched him grow over the years, um, and I've watched him, especially because the job that he has is so people-oriented. I've watched him become um, more empathetic to people's situations. Um, that doesn't always mean he's tolerant and <laughs> has a lot of patience, but I have seen um, where he does, um, he's able to relate to people better and um, he's got such a big heart um, he's just he's such a great a great guy um, I'll end with this kind of my favorite story about him my, my re most recent favorite story I have many many favorite stories about him but um, we took Monkey to the park to play on the swings one day and Monkey was swinging <sighs> and there was another little boy and his mommy, and they had a family birthday party going on, and mommy was pushing him, and it was getting ready time to go, and so she took him out of the swing and set him on the ground, and he made a beeline for the cable guy, and just was trying to get my husband to pick him up, and pick him up, and he was whining and wanted my husband to pick off. Major stain guy going on there, and the cable guy was like, I can't, I can't pick you up, buddy. He's He's like, you don't belong to me, you know, you, you gotta go with your mommy. And so his mom comes up, oh, I'm so sorry. And we're like, it's okay, it's all right. So she takes him, she takes him back and, you know, hands him to another family member because she's trying to wrangle her other kid um, and, you know, say her goodbyes. And the family member puts him back down and he comes running back over to the gay bull guy and just wants him to pick him up. and. My husband, oh buddy, you know, I'm so sorry, I can't pick you up, you know, you gotta go with your mommy. And his mom comes over and she's so embarrassed and she's just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And we're like, it's okay, if we, you know, didn't want to be bothered by kids, we wouldn't have come to the park. Like, it's, it's okay. She's like, I'm so sorry, he just, he just really loves daddies. And I was just like, hmm, eh, of course he does, and this is the best one ever. And Monkey's like, yeah, yeah, back off. So that's my that's my newest favorite story about the cable guy. Um, he just melts my heart. So um, tell me when is your anniversary and what are your favorite? What's your most um, what's your favorite story? Your most recent story about your significant other? What have they done recently that just made you go, oh, they hurt you? Um, leave a comment down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And of course, like I said before, if you want to be the first, who, want, who doesn't want to be the first, um, go ahead and click subscribe. And I will talk to you in another video. Thanks!